Taking Elijah off the board gave us brief peace. Now there's blood in the streets. Moses has been around for a long time. He even has legitimate businesses as fronts. He's smart and measured until he's pushed into a corner. And Quinlan is young and wild and not trying to wait his turn. Did the night shift hear anything about Moses heading back? No, not a peep, which somehow makes me more nervous. At least that means there's no new bodies. Or none that we found yet. I'm not religious per se, but there's a lot I'd like to get off my chest. The conventional is really just for Catholics. Oh, totally get it. Uh, maybe we could talk on your way out? Mm. Or not. I have a lead. A kid in my congregation, one of Mateus' friends, he came to me this morning and asked me to tell you something. When you say friend, you mean they used to bang together? Yeah. He told me Moses' is crew is transporting a big shipment of drugs today, hidden in merchandise for his auto shop. Wait, I thought you said your informant is in Quinlan's gang. He is. What? It's just, there's no way a street-level kid would know something like that, especially about a rival gang, unless someone wanted him to know. Quinlan sent him to tell you. He wants the LAPD to do his dirty work for him. I'm, I'm not following. He tips us off, so we take Moses off the board. Quinlan wins the war without losing any more of his guys. So you're not going to act on the tip? No, oh, no, we definitely are. It doesn't matter if Quinlan's trying to play us. Any chance we have to put Moses behind bars, we're going to take it. According to our source, Moses' truck should be pulling in any minute. Copy that. Can I ask you a question while we wait? Go for it. What's your take on true evil? Does it exist? Evil as in the devil or guys with broken brains who get off on torture? The first one. Look, I think looking for some mythical creature to blame for all the messed up stuff human beings do is a cop-out. I disagree. I mean, yeah, there are some depraved people in the world, but you can't say that you haven't seen people act in a way that you can't explain. Congratulations, you're both under arrest. Any idea how much weight they're transporting? Not yet, but even a quarter of these boxes are loaded and we're talking tonnage. It's weird how your worst day is suddenly our best. What would make it better for both of us if you rolled over on Moses? Beat them all in this so they forget what the drugs cost. So people never question what you sell them guns for. Or beat them in the head with the message with the blood for. I was just thinking the same thing. My brother says you told him about the drug shipment. What we need to know is who told you. That's all right, Ricky. You can tell him. 
It was Quinlan. Mm, no, so you wanted us to think it was coming from Quinlan. But why would your boss ask the LAPD to intercept his rival's drug shipment and then send his own guys in? He had to know they'd get arrested. I think someone else asked you to tip us off. Someone who would benefit from both Quinlan and Moses being taken down. We just need you to tell us who that is. I can't. He'll kill me. Who? Listen to me. I know you're scared. We can protect you, but only if you help us. Angela's telling the truth. You know she's a sister, right? She says she has your back. She's got it. Can you pay me $5,000 to tell you about the shipment? Who paid you? Elijah Stone. Moses didn't kill Quinlan's guys. Elijah did to provoke a war. He had Moses and Quinlan soften each other up, then he sent us in for the kill. Now that we can prove any of it, all we have is Ricky's testimony. So Elijah claimed that he tipped off the police about an illegal activity, like any upstanding citizen would. After everything we went through to take him down, less than a year later, he's right back where he started. I have to tell Wesley before he finds out some other way. Angela can't be anywhere near this investigation. Neither of them can. She won't like it, but Elijah's seven steps ahead. One wrong move, he'll have a badge.